stream of the Frugal Gamer. Um, as it's the first stream, I thought I would just sort of run through what our objective here is uh, for this stream channel and also the YouTube channel as well. So um, everyone knows that gaming can be an expensive hobby and um, thought it would be nice to start up a channel where we could look at games um, for the low, low price of uh, five pounds or less and just kind of explore the games that we've got out there, um, which we can play on a budget, see if we can find any hidden gems, give them a little bit of a playthrough, and yeah, just try and create a space where people can look for new games um, without necessarily investing a huge amount of money. And all, all the big games get a lot of coverage, so it's very quick and easy to find out exactly what you can uh, expect for those. Whereas um, with the smaller games, often it's quite hard to get a review. So I'm also looking to sort of break it down into a bit of a system. So... There are four different types of games that I'll be looking to review. So the first one, which is the one that we're doing today, is something new. So it's a game that's come out in the last month, um, and that costs less than £5. So that'll probably be some sort of smaller indie titles. Uh, we've got something old, so some bigger games that are three years or older that have since come down in price. So some good games that uh, people may have always wanted to play, or maybe like a trip down memory lane, something like that, and you can get that for a bargain as well. We're then going to do um, something on sales, so looking for some of the bigger titles that have significantly come down in price. Um, I'll be basing this mainly off Steam, so any game that's you know worth picking up that has significantly come down in price, and then also something free. So while the free to game, the free to play gaming industry has you know its ups and downs, and a lot of people don't. Um, necessarily see it most positive light. There are definitely some gems out there um, that are worth looking into. So yeah, looking to explore all of those. So the first one that I decided to pick up uh, today is the Temple of, and I'm going to call it Rubo. I'm guessing it's probably not called the Temple of Rubo. But yeah, let's have a look at this. So this has only come out in the uh, last couple of days. When did it come out? It came out on the 10th. So this is literally only six days old. So um, I'm just going to check it out. This is literally my first time going through this as well. So let's have a look at how it works. So the first thing that I noticed about this while setting it up is that it doesn't have any mouse controls. It's all done through the co-op. So how to play. Uh, right, okay. Z or A to join. Uh, let's be Z. And who do we like the look of? I. Yeah, I like the look of the fox. Let's go for this fox. There we go. Got the fox. Okay. Cool. Simple as that. Uh, so. Z to join. Oh, yeah. And so the other good thing about this is that it's definitely picked up as a co-op game. So it's C to go back, let's pick up, okay, pick up one of these guys, fair enough. Right, so, ah, okay. Pick up a plank. Nice, got a new item. Now this is advertised as a co-op, co-op game, so I hopefully <laughs> should be able to do this on my own. It says, okay, play jukebox, okay. And some objectives here, beat all the three teams in one go, eat a banana, in the dream glade, okay, and transform all, uh, all five animals, okay, so we can transform them as well, that's cool. So where are we going? Got all the selection, islands, fox got plank, okay, swap my items, put on my back, nice, that. <laughs> fire goes out, which is a good thing, don't want him being on fire. Now where am I supposed to go on this? Now I would say this is the first thing that I'm picking up about this game that isn't overly helpful, is there isn't any kind of like tutorial or first player guidance about what we're actually doing here. So let's just go back, let's see if I can go back and actually try and find a little bit more instructions on this. It's a bit frustrating as well not having a mouse to be able to do the guidance on this. Let's have a look. Uh, so we've got the jukebox there, beat any tomb, find treasure chest there. Yeah, it's not letting me go back either. <laughs> so what happens if I press A? No, Z, A to join. Selection island, fine. There's a lever up there. Okay, maybe that's where I'm heading. Ah! <laughs> oh, this is not going well. So this water's definitely... Okay, so I've managed to kill myself. Brilliant. <laughs> Good first exploration here. All right, that lever looks promising. Let's see if we can get up there. Come on, little fox. Okay, pull. Hey, there we go. Look at that. We don't need a tutorial at all. We're going in. We've got our plank of woods. Let's see how this goes. All right. 
So we're in a dungeon. Yes. Pick up a stick. Let's see what we can do with our stick. We can set the stick on fire. Did this before, done it. Okay, get a little bit more view of where we're going for. So here we are, a little fox going around. Is that a baddie? Okay, how do I fight baddies? Oh. Okay, alright, yeah, getting the hang of this. The health is not looking good though. And that stick is in a bad state. Club, that's an upgrade. Okay. Break that. Got another plank. No, got a plank, thank you very much. Mushrooms, anything there? No. Alright. I don't know what that is, but it's something important. It's gone one of 20, so looking for 20 of those. Okay, got a little rat and a gravel or something. Yeah, here we go. Okay, cool. All right, first couple of guys down. Another plank. Oh, they're trying to really, really trying to sell me these planks. I'm not having any of it. And a stick. Not giving me the best loot, but then again, I am a fox. I don't know whether or not I need the best loot. Oh god, I've just seen I've got a timer up there as well. All right, so this is under a time pressure. So, okay, there's the lever, which I'm guessing takes me down to the next level, which is also, okay, I'm taking the donut. So we press C to swap that out, get the donut. What do we do with you? Can I eat you? Oh, cool, okay, that gets my health back up again. So, take my plank back, pull that. Got the club out again. Five, five nails. Don't know what we're going to do with you, but that's useful. Where's my club gone? All right, back to the plank. Oh, okay, got to have an empty hand to pick that up. Sort that back. Fine, got my plank. And a treasure chest. Hey, you, first loot. All right. Pot. What? What am I going to do with the pot? Can I throw it? That's coming back up. Let's open this chest. An apple. All right. Do with an apple. Do I need the health? No, I don't need the health. All right. So I'll swap that out. Keep that for later. Pick up the plank because that's kind of like a weapon. And break the barrel. Anything good in there? A bone. Now that is definitely more my style as a fox. All right. New items. Now keep some single little entry log there. Oh, and I'm running out of time. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go back to. Let's go back to the way down. So so far, what I would say, <laughs> I'm finding with this is that definitely picking things up as I go along. It's definitely been like a gentle first level, but you're you're really not told anything about what you're supposed to do. And as I say, like not having a mouse at all is very odd experience for games that I'm used to having mouses. All right. So the timer resets when you come down level. So you've got three minutes to clear each of these. It's not bad. Don't want a pot. We tried the pot. Not very, nothing very interesting there. And all right, what have we got? Another bone. Well, my bone's breaking. Never a good sign. Let's pick him up. There we go. What have we got on this one? So I think that one that pops up is how much damage my weapons are taking. Hey, should have seen that coming. That was obviously a trap, but I didn't see that bone coming. <laughs> oh, a chest as well. Sweet. Okay. So let's eat up that apple. Pick up my damaged bone. And let's have a look. What's in the chest? What are you? A broom. Um. All right. We can we can work with this. We can work with this. Uh, okay, some of this slingshot that's going to be range damage. Our first range attack we've got coming up. Okay, they've got quite a bit of health as well, and got another guy over here. Oh, sweet. Okay, looks like he dropped a slingshot as well. Okay, so we've got a ranged weapon coming up that we can use. I guess the broom's kind of like a spear here, so you get a little bit of range on that. You have to go right up to them. All right, cool. My broom's almost busted. Let's swap that out, pick up a slingshot, nice. And these gold things were things that we wanted to look at. How's the time looking? Okay, we still got we still got two minutes. Little flag thing. Oh, okay. Chill. What have we got here? Is this a is this a shop? Ah, this is what the coin things are for. Alright. So this is like the worst place you could have a shop. This is literally like full of monsters and dungeons, I don't know. 
where you're expecting magic wands. It's tempting. I'm all right on health. All right, I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to leave it for now. Oh, cool, so the slingshot works. Okay, here we go. Here's the way out. It's bad. None of that. Okay, definitely a bit of a reload time on this. Let me get the hang of this. Swap that out. And there goes the prim. Oh, yeah, back to the bone. All right. A plank. Nah. Got a bone, that's better than a plank every day. Stick. Nah. Keep your stick. All right, so that's the way out. So next level, we've got to get... Oh, God, a minute left. Spent too long browsing the shop. God, he's, he's part of the level, isn't he? He's one of the bosses. He's like keeping me here, delaying it. <laughs> All right. Got, yeah, yeah, I know we've got a minute left. Need to find that lever. Is it in there? Oh, it's a chest. I don't have time for chests. Right. Let's find this lever. Okay, some baddies. Good sign. A rat, bat. Rat, bat, cat. Oh no, break the bone. All right. Five times. What am I going to do with the nails? What they... Oh, lever. No, I don't want to. There we go. Right. Got 30 seconds. Got 30 seconds. All right. We've got time to visit the shop on the way back. What have we got? Magic wand. That feels like ranged. Wooden spear. Can't afford that. Torch. Wooden bow. Apple. All right. Fine. We're just going to have to wing it, I think. Hey. Sorry, I did not mean to push you out of your shop. <laughs> right, let's pick up a stick. Actually, a plank's probably better than a stick. Pack that up, swap that to the back, pick up that. And then we're ready to rumble. Ten seconds to spare. Nice. God, for a cute little casual <laughs> game, you don't get much time to explore. This is absolutely pushing on to the next thing. I can definitely see how this would be... Oh, a donut. I can definitely see how this would be a co-op game as... I would ima I imagine that takes off some of the pressure of, being, of having to try and do this solo, get everything done all by yourself. But I do really like the graphics. I think it's a nice little cute design. Uh, okay, that's a trap. Didn't fall for that. Fell for that last time. But this this is a sly fox. He's worked this out. Might get a chest for it, but okay, picking up the bone again. I like the bones. But yeah, I don't think it's worth tangling it until we know what else we've got to deal with in this level. Okay, rats. We know how to deal with rats. Whack them with the bone. All right. Okay, got those two. What's in, what's in the barrel? I'm going to break that bone. Bone's gone. Something good? It's a coin. Okay, I think those are coins. Don't know what they are. A skull. Ooh, that's double weapon upgrade. Wow, okay. Okay, I'm getting the hang of that as well. That looks like that's two up. The other one does one damage, this does two. So that's good. Don't know how it works though. I kind of feel like, oh. yeah, you throw it. Okay. Uh, I was not ready for this. <laughs> oh, that slingshot reload so slow. Ooh, a torch. Oh, it's just hitting with the torch. Okay, not good. Uh, pull this. Oh, grub. All right. Yeah. Swap that bit around so we can. Yeah, I don't want to. Don't want to pull. Another coin. Okay. So we've got that. Two guys over here. Uh, yeah. Okay, are these slingshot guys? We're probably going to have to slingshot them back. Okay, slingshots don't deal any damage to that. But here he comes. Ow! Oh, it's like a croquet mallet or something. <laughs> Get out of here. What's he got? That's oh, another torch. All right, we can take it. All right, better than nothing. I just want to get up close to this guy. How long we got? A minute and a half. All right, we still haven't found the exit yet. That better slingshot. Oh, we broke. Did we break her? We did break her on the slingshot. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. I'm starting to get the hang of this. Another coin. Nice. Uh, donut. Yeah, we could do a donut. Eat that. Pick that up. 
Yeah, there's definitely a bit of hanging. Okay, a minute. Got less time to mess about. More coins. Good. It's time to get to the shop. Where is the way down? That's a chest. He's got a hat. Do you want a hat? No, I haven't got time for hats. Oh, we've we, we got time for hats. We've got a minute. No damage. Oh, it's his hat. His hat's taking all the damage. Oh, no, have I broken his hat? I wanted that hat. Oh man, oh, I just got another slingshot out of it. Okay, better be something good in here. An apple. Well, better than nothing. Better than nothing. Now let's get out of here. Okay, 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 okay. We've been up here 30 seconds. Where's the exit? Okay, well, we've opened it, so that's some of it. 20 seconds. Eee, eee. Okay, <laughs> we're just gonna have to leg it. Gonna have to leg it. Going through. That's a big button. Oh, what does that do? Oh god, a boss! I was so not ready for a boss. <laughs> we've got, we've got ten seconds to get out of here, and we've got a boss, and we've got no weapon. Oh god. Oh, how much health have we got? Okay, we've got one and a bit. Oh, the reload on this slingshot is so low. At least we got lots of health. It looks like the timer stopped for the boss battle, so that's something at least. Oh, it does two damage. All right, all right. So we can take two more hits, and that's game over. <laughs> Pop. All right, these do more damage, it says. Nice. Pop. Come on, Pop. Just sitting there. Ah, oh god, last bit. Anything good in there? Stick. Ah. <laughs> oh, keep him at, okay, keep him at distance. We can do that. Is that him gone? Is him gone? And we got we got a coin. And we've still got 10 seconds. Oh, chest, are you worth it? An ice wand? Damn. Okay. But is that gonna matter? It's not, because we've got five seconds to get there. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is a definite upgrade. But what happens now? Okay, we've run out of time on this dungeon. Now what? Everything's shaking. Well, that's ominous. Lots of shadows chasing me. Don't like that. Uh, it's the shop. Didn't mean to freeze you. But I will buy an apple. Oh, damn. Whoa, okay. What? I lose all my money as well. God damn. Okay. So it's okay. So it seems like it's one of those games where you kind of get reset every time you do it. So you've got to kind of learn from each one. There doesn't seem to be any kind of experience to take through. Like those little black shadows come after you, which is kind of terrifying, if I'm honest, <laughs> when you run out of time. Oh, damn. All right. We're, we're throwing straight back in it. All right. So, let's see if we can do this with her. Skulls were good. So, let's see how far we can go with this. That wasn't what I meant to do. I have to say, for a little four pound game, this is, this is actually not too bad. I'm enjoying this. Don't know, keep that for later. Don't need that right now. Pick you up. Like, I feel like there's lots of really unintuitive elements about how this is going. Like, all of the controls being Z, X, and C is a bit strange. Like, pick up and interact is X, Z is use your weapon, uh, Z is pick up and interact with things, yeah, so X is use your weapon, and then C is change your weapon, so pick that up, eat that. So yeah, I, yeah, I'll get a hang of the controls for sure, um, and thank you to you one viewer who's been with us for this whole thing, it's, 
nice to have someone watching this first time that we're doing all this. Okay, so we found the switch. And I think we did see the exit earlier. I wonder whether it keeps the same layout. Actually, I actually can't remember if this is the same layout. Do I need that? Not yet. But keep it just in case. Right, use you. Got a minute and a half. The exit was up here, I think. Yeah, that's the exit. So. Trust chest, nice. Nails, okay, they're ranged. Fine. Good name, Hannah, UI, and you are a broom. I think that's what we had last time. Okay, so maybe these do follow the same layout each time. <clears throat> Got the broom to clean up this dungeon. Uh, and then we're off ready for level two. I think, did I only get to level stage three of the last one? Wow, okay. <clears throat> oh, I felt way more intense. <laughs> I guess that's got a nice bit of like distance on that plank. You don't need that right now. Pot. Okay, so yeah, this is a trap for a chest. But I reckon we can have. Whoa, okay. That's different opponents to what we had last time. Oh, okay. Oh, we got it. Did we get it? We got it. Oh, no. There's one of them. Oh. It's definitely one thing it's hard to see with all of them overlapping like that. Oh, one second. Just got something going on with the kids, so bear with. Right, there we go. Sorry about that. Kids were waking up a bit unhappy. Okay, so where were we? Okay, we're gonna run out of broom in a minute. <laughs> One more. Okay, that's it. We're gonna have to punch this guy. God, that does so little damage. Alright, swap out to that. Give it a munch. Okay, pick up 
a slingshot, got a range now, and got a stick. Got a stick? Got a stick. Take this little bug down. Getting some good little bit of treasure here, but we've only got 20 seconds. Okay, what do we do? Do we, do we pull the lever? I have to run this one. Let's see how viable this is just doing the sprint through. Okay, so we've got a chest here, a guy, chest. Fine, that's not what we're looking for. For a lever. Ooh, there. Okay. Looks like we've also got the option for, just noticed on the left there, got the option for um, armor and helmet. Uh, need a key. Okay, that's cool. First time I've seen that. So it's definitely not the same layout every time. Okay, so we've got to keep moving. Is this the shop? Oh, okay, different shopkeeper. Horrible black thing still coming off me. Oh god, that gross. Okay, cool. Okay. Another thing that looks like a rat, but definitely isn't a rat. Can I walk through here? Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, I can't fight them. Oh, I can fight them. Okay, okay. Getting our way around this slightly better. It looks like they do increasing amount of damage. Okay, we've got a second shot. Yeet, yeet. And it's a dead end shot. Oh, these shopkeepers are not my friends. And that's me going. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's a little bit of an unfair judge, as uh, that was definitely a slight disrupted session. So let's give, give this another run through. Okay. So it's, it's interesting, I think, if what we've got here is that each layout is different each time. Because that means that there's limited learnings that you can take to each playthrough. Donut. But I have learned that donuts aren't bad. But I knew that already, to be fair. <laughs> Alright, a bit more garbled. Treasure chest. Nice. Is it going to be a broom again, though? No, lots of gold. Nice. Alright. Stick. Yeah, alright. Take a stick. Where do my bone go? Alright, so pathway down here, pathway this way. Okay, so that's the way out, you can remember that. And God sticks don't last long. Some more gold, nice. Okay, getting a decent little stash up. Spending those pesky shops. Grub. Another right, okay, and there's the leather. So it looks like the first floor is pretty simple. There's one chest room, a couple of baddies, couple of mobs, and just a leather room and a way down. So not too complicated. Although level two we just did, we had two shops in there. We had one shop the first time around, so I think, unless I missed anything. There we go. Do you want to light this? You can only light a branch. I've already got down. Rocking at full health. Okay, we've got eight. Should be enough to get something good. Hello, Mr. Frog. Backpack. Oh, that sounds good. Well, you a barrel. Mm. Leather cap. Do you kind of want to see what this guy looks like in a leather cap? Magic amulet. Oh, wow, so many good, so many good things. All right, leather cap. Oh yeah. Rocking it. That that is a good look. <laughs> good look on that fox. Oh sweet, okay, we found the way out as well. And we've got a goblin with a big old mallet or something. That's a new weapon we seen, like a club, is that a club? Club. Club? Nice. Haven't needed our donut yet. Getting better at this. Nice. Alright. Club. Going to go back through the froggy shop. I'm guessing that's a frog. Now we need to find the lever. Uh, the lever to open that up again. Do, do, do. We can. We can light our club. Does that make it better? 
It does look like it's got a fire damage sign on it. Okay. Oh, we've got the mole shop. Okay, so fire does damage the weapon over time. It does make it better. How much better, you say? Nice, that much better. Okay, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't actually do any more damage than just grubs are super weak. Look at that, another flawless victory for the fox. Loving it. Okay, we've got a door here. Chesney's got a hammer. I've got no idea what the other thing is. Is it not? Close the door. <laughs> okay, what's that? A key! Nice. Oh, that takes up an inventory slot. Oh, man. Okay. What have you got? Ah, oh, trusty broom. You like the broom. Good reach on that. All right, cool. So we've got yeah, a minute and a half. Found a key. Found the exit, but we haven't found the lever and we haven't found whatever this key opens. Like you've got a window as to when these guys shoot, you can hear them winding up. I guess it's useful. Uh, okay, cool. Got the donut, but we're on full health. Nice. Got our key. So we saw that backpack earlier. Presumably that means you can rotate three more things, which is going to be a big help. There we go. Okay, trap room. Okay, we know about that. We'll take that crab. Crab. Oh, that's a new bar. Enemy. That doesn't seem to be too menacing. Stick, no. Okay, yeah, we actually do want to pick up the stick because we've our brim broke. Okay, now we've got a key. We don't know what it opens. We've got a minute to find the way out, so we're not going to mess around with that treasure chest. Oh, I love the cat's doing a stick. Okay, good. Liver. Forty seconds. Okay, so we can get down there. I'm just gonna pick up the bone. Okay, here's the treasure chest. Here we go, here we go. Need a key. All right, swap the key. Unlock. Hey. Right, no baddies in here. Open it up. What have we got? What have we got? A wooden bow. All right. All right. Yeah, I can get down with that. Definite upgrade. Now let's GTF. Get out of here. Don't want to be wasting that bow. So swap out to our bone again. Now, oh, I can't remember where it is. Down in the frog shop, other side of the frog shop, I think. Come on, here we go. 12 seconds, we can do it. Hey, look at that. Okay, where are we up to next? Mole shop, all right. Three gold isn't going to get as much though. Sweat bands. Oh, it's frog shop. Nice. He definitely seems to be packing better stuff. Straw hat. We've got our leather hat. I don't need straw hat. Headbands. Okay. Okay. Looks like they give damage increases as well, which is cool. Some of them do. Uh, he spotted me. Oh, okay. Way out. Okay, that's good to find that straight away. Yeah, but definitely a different layout each time. So that's going to be interesting. Oh wow, okay. There's the lever. That was, that was really quick. All right. Oh. Get the plank, because I don't want to use our, I want to use our bow on a crab. Ow. Oh, God, they're pinchy. Ow. Wow, that hat is not doing anything against the crab. Okay, good, okay. Maybe I underestimated the crab. I'm <laughs> ashamed to say. Okay, this is the boss fight, and we definitely want to have the bow for that one. Is it the bat? Yes, yeah, the bat. Okay. Okay. God, two damage, but not reliable <laughs> at all. Okay, yes, that. The bat juniors, let's call them. Oh, not much space. Got a good spot here. God, reload time is savage. Oh, I gotta move. 
Okay, you can shoot diagonal as well. Good to know. Pew. All right, Bartok. Nice. All right. All right. All right. All right. So we get a good treasure chest from that on the last time. Oh, okay. Definitely need that donut. Eat that up. What we got? What we got? Another wooden bow. We've already got one. But I guess it makes sense to swap that out because we've got a better one. Okay. Cool. And we've still got two minutes. Damn. All right. Pick up the bone. Is that, is that the old bone we're using earlier? No, full health. Okay, sweet, sweet. So. All right, another trap room. Do you want to risk it? Yeah, all right. We've got time. Just some grubs and some kind of club. Club's definitely got a bit more range than the bone. Let's grab that. Oh, well, let's see what we've got in the chest. Still don't know if I rate the nails. Don't really understand. Okay, apple. Yeah, eat that. Pick up a club. Nice. How long we got? A minute and a half. Sweet, okay. What else can we find here? It doesn't seem to be any kind of like experience bar or anything like that. I guess gold is experience in a way, because definitely seems to be like really measurable upgrades from the shops. Okay, he's in here. He's got, oh, he's got a wizard hat. Now the thing is, is, these seem to like block damage. So is that a wizard hat or is that like a sort of like a leather cap, like I've got, but with a bit of an upgrade. The annoying thing is, is that you definitely don't seem to be able to like keep. They've got equipped items, like you don't get to get those because you damn it, you break them to get them. Okay, okay, that's well worth it. A lot of cash there because our leather cap's about to break anyway. Do we need the donut? Don't need the donut. Take the club. That's interesting as well that they seem to drop stuff at max health because look in there that's got a full bar of health on that club but we is obviously hitting me with it so that's good to know they, they don't sort of degrade the items so leather was here which means that it was just to the north this room up here where the way down was here we go room 1.4 first time Whew. landing on a barrel Nice. <laughs> Some more gold. Pot we can throw. All good. We've got our bow way better. A bit more cautious what we got. Uh oh, whoa, straight into a boss battle. Okay, not messing about. Bow called the Cobalt Cobalt King. Okay. Well, that answers what these guys are. Ah, there goes my hat. Alright. Oh, look at the brooms, man. Don't mess with the cobalt with the broom, apparently. Oh, we've got the shadow guy? Okay. Oh, does he like someone there? He's got like a staff. Is that what he's doing? Yeah, he does. Ouch. Okay. They only got two hit points each, though. Alright. Corrupted Cobalt King. Okay, so there's a bit of backstory here going on. It wasn't always like this. Bokold was not always a shadow summoner, I guess. I guess that's the plot behind this. There are these sort of ev evil shadow beasts or something that we're going to have to get to the bottom of. No dialogue in it so far, probably because I'm a fox. How much has he got left? Is this the last one? Is that it? We got him. Oh, I'm just in time because that broke our bow. Ow. Nice. All right, all right. Anything geared? My chest. Oh, what? Oh, rip off. Don't get a chest. Oh, man. All right, just got my club. Oh, hello. Do I just get to pick one? Do I get all of them? Always take it. Ah, okay. All right, well... Always take the hot container. Don't regret that. And we can heal. 
All right. I didn't be able to pick up my club. All right. Oh. Cool. Woof. Okay. A couple of sticks. A little bit large. A plank. Backup plank. No, we get wrong with backup plank. How much time do I have? Do I have a time counter on this? Okay, I don't. I don't. Okay. Is that it? Okay, straight down. So that was obviously like the boss level, which probably explains why I didn't get a chest and I got, I got that cool reward. I'm full health. Don't need the donut. All right, let's see what we've got. Ooh. Sewers. Okay, new level. Chest unlocked. Oh yeah, right, back at the main menu there were chests. So maybe that's maybe that's the progression that we can get if we go back. Oh damn. Okay. Got some kind of elemental slimes here. Ah. Okay, is that are those bubbles enemies or are those like projectiles? Okay, and those slime seems to have split as well. Okay, so I can hurt the bubble. Damn, all right. Oh, wrong kind of Firefox. And there's, there are more bubbles. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to pick up the nails. Oh! How do you get put out? Okay, I do not like these bubbles. Is the snail making the bubbles? I mean, I guess snails sometimes put bubbles. Let's try these nails then. Got five of them. Two minutes left. Don't think I want a boss fight right now. Do not free in the gear with a broken bone and five nails. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. Right, that's leather. Okay, all right, I've been sleeping on nails. That is good. Pitchfork. Yeah, I definitely want to be keeping these slimes arms length. All right. Rapid fire nails, all. Okay. Donut. Yes, please. Picking you back up. Okay. <clears throat> Find the way out wherever that is. Okay, shop. 15. Okay, I've got 15 out of 20. So that's definitely a good time to be spending. Archer's cloak, range damage, headbands. Pack up, put the fence down. Witch's robe, not using any magic. Leather shoulders. Yeah, I'll take that. Nice. And a warm sweater. Oh. Yeah, no. Okay, oh, and another shop. Uh, okay. Bloodlust disease. Health up. What's the downside here? This is fortune, more gold, okay. Order's lament. Hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with those right now. Feels like a, my headway I've made too, at the moment, it's just two brushes. Been messing around with witches' potions. And also, like, witches aren't a good guy, you know. No, I'm a, I know I'm a fox and I don't know better, but I know better. Oh, these slime bubbles are like literally the worst. Okay. Let's get our way out of here. Oh, are these, the other ones are kobolds. Are these goblins? Oh, they're hats. Eee. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, is that me gone? Oh, damn. All right. Well, there we go. Make this too. So let's go back. Let's go back and check out what that chest was about. Okay, so we're we looking at the chest now. So I'm new song unlocked. All right, great. Everyone likes new song. What are you? Tennis rack. <laughs> Is that my reward? Is that my reward for doing that level? Of getting all the way through the first dungeon? Beat any team. Fine. And what is Reach Inferno. Okay. Uh... Reach dungeon. Okay, so yeah, that <laughs> that's my reward. Damn. 
Okay, but at least this way you can take a bit more gear together. Bone, right, flank. So the book. Ah, uh, no. Damn. Okay, still got my gear. Okay, fine. Let's jump. Oh uh, no. Uh, swim, 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 swim. Also the gravestones as well. Let's check that out. Right, locked, locked, locked. Okay. Okay. Page drunk. Can we change people? Nah. Okay, well, we're doing, we're doing all right with Fox. Going up here. Clock. What do you do? Check. No record. All right. <laughs> Rude. This is my run so bad that it wasn't even worth being recorded. All right. Pull. Let's go back in. Boom. Okay, that is the way down. Pew. Yeah. I feel like the time pressure is like a really like weird addition for a game that's got like such chill music, such chill visuals, like it's nice, it's cute, it's really simple, but you know, they're using a nice warm palette. And they've got animals as, you know, who you're playing as. It's really simple controls, it's a simple, nice game, and they've added in this time pressure. Like, it's, you know, you're speedrunning it. I get it. Like, <clears throat> it's a nice motivator, but I feel like, all right, pot lid. Is that, is that a weapon? Or can I use, can I use both? Is that like a shield? No, no, no. Come on. Uh, okay. So, it's a shield and a weapon. All right. We can work with that. Does that just say it did no damage? Huh. Okay. Can change pretty quickly, but mm, not sold on that. Okay, let's change this out and let's see if we hit him with that. Yeah, yeah, no damage. Huh. Okay, well. My interest in the pot lid has gone down massively. I'm going to swap that out for the slingshot. Tennis racket almost gone. Is that tennis racket gone? Yeah. Donut. Do we need donut? Yeah. All right. Some gold. Yeah, okay, there's definitely something here as well that, like, it looks like you can walk through that. That isn't the clearest <laughs> level division design. You can see there's a bit of a sandbank stuff going on there. Pew. God, the reload time on the slingshot is harsh. It's particularly when you've got to try and get four pits off the guy. Ow. Better off with that club. We know what we're doing in melee. 
happy with that. Okay, leather, good. Two minutes spare, nice. And ooh, chest. Okay, key. Fine. Found the key note. No problem last time. So why am I wasting time banging a barrel? That's why. Nails, nice. Better than a slingshot every day. God, I was really sleeping those nails the first couple of times. Oh damn, did not see that bug. But he looks like the kind of guy that's got a key on him. Oh no! <laughs> no! Okay, you can pick up stacks of them. Let's try this again. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, okay. So ranged and get around hats. That's good to know. I like the brim. Got a good range on it. Okay, cool, got my straw hat. But my straw hat does seem to have taken damage. Okay, remember these crabs, they do a surprising amount of damage. Okay, so we open the gate. So we've got an open gate somewhere. But we don't know where that is yet. But we do still have time to go and check out with the key. We've got the key with me as well. Okay, alright. Get key ready, key out. Ready to rumble. It's Fox needs business. Unlock. Come on. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, wooden dagger. That's an upgrade. Now we've got a minute to get out of here. Which shouldn't be any problem now. We've got our <laughs> trusty wooden dagger. And let's not forget the straw hat as well. Okay, so we came we came down from that way, so I don't we haven't got time to fight a boss battle. I have found a lot of these entrances on the other side of shops, so let's keep moving. Yeah, there we are. Nice. Okay, and we've got a nice sweep going on with the dagger. Okay, 30 seconds. Are we can afford to open these. Donut, do we need the donut? Yeah. Stick, no thank you. Seconds. Okay, I think I've got time to go back in the shop see if they've got anything else cool. Wooden sword, torch, shuriken, apple, magic wand. Ten seconds. Uh, yeah, all right. Oh, the way, old man. Oh no! Oh, God, I swear these shopkeepers are definitely working against us. Ah, uh, three, two, one. Ah, made it. <laughs> made it. All right, let's see what this magic wand can do. Got anything good to try on bats? God. All right, so this is quite good. Let's see if we can get both of them, because it definitely flies to, yeah, there we go, okay. So that's what it can do. It's like pass through projectile. All right, cool, so it's good, it's good. There are lots of nice little mechanics that have been put in here for each of the weapons. You know, we've got the sweep attack here, we've got the things that pass through, we've got things with reach. Like, for a really simple game, like, they've done a really good job of, like, diversifying different types of weapon options and lowdown stuff. And I'm saying this, like, <laughs> you've seen how much I've played. I've only just got through, like, the first big stage I've done through this beach cave. I haven't got anywhere past, like, stage one of the sewers. So that's really promising for the rest of the game going forward. Straw hats and a mess. The food would not be impressed with me. Can't. Got to be taking care of your straw hat. Everyone knows that. All right. Got time for a boss battle. Well, not a boss battle, a rat battle. Come at me, rats. I'm a fox. Eat rats for breakfast. Probably a tree. Okay, got that up. Get my dagger back. No, you don't need that. Cool. Need to find that lever. Okay. Talk to the devil. We still got a decent amount of time on that. That lever was down there at the bottom. Shop. Okay, we've got six. We could use some more armor. Any armor we could pick up for six. 
people. Uh, so this guy, okay, so the mole definitely seems to be, oh, we can talk to him. Talk? Welcome to my shop. Is that it? Wow. Anything else? Don't hesitate too long. Okay, yeah, we know that. I'm the shopkeeper. I run this shop. <laughs> Come on. Okay, fine. That's it. That's his three phases. Three phrases on rotation. Fine. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, yeah, this is what we wanted. The frog guy is definitely the armor guy. Sweatbands, old shirts. Oh, better than nothing. And yeah, okay, well, looks like we're taking the old shirt. Oh wow, that does <laughs> that that does that does not sit on him very well. Any other angle than on the side. Oh, okay, wait. Ooh, uh, where was it? Is it down here? Yes, yeah, the shop was the shop. Uh, I feel like it was over here. Yeah, there we go. What's that worry? Don't really want to be wasting that on boxes. All right. Oh wait, beach cave level one four. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Is this? Yeah, goblin battle. All right. All right, cobalt battle. Not messing around. Get straight in there. Because this guy's going to be generating more of those little guys. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe I should have messed around a bit. Because that is completely getting overwhelmed there. Get my wand out. Why am I using the wand? Oh, I've got a big swing on that plank. Okay, okay. Where's the plank? No, wand out. Yeah, wand out. Zap. Oh, God, okay. So he does not just like spawn one of these at a time. It's like all of them. Whoa. God. Okay. Wow. Alright. That was that was rough at the end there. But we've got our spot to heal down here. So I'll check that out. Alright, so what are, what are our options? Let's take these a little bit more seriously. So we've got the backpack. Gives us an extra slot. That does sound pretty useful. The bow, I wasn't that bothered about the bow. Yeah. Hard hat. That unlimited. Is that does that mean it just doesn't break? One damage resistant doesn't break. Alright, let's check it out. Foxes like construction sites. Hard workers, I think, maybe. <laughs> uh See what else we can get. Got a magic wand still. That's that's the way out. Right. No time limit as it's a boss level, so we get our free time to explore. What have we got? Full health. Yeah, not much to explore. Okay, sewers. Oh, I remember not liking the sewers. I say that like it was a long time ago. It was literally like ten minutes ago. Stick. Fine. Gobbo. Is that a goblin with a wand? Oh, it is ice wand. Ugh. God, it's ice wand. Not a fan. But yeah, the hard hat. Alright, I think that was a good pickup. Because that's literally got unlimited. It's not taking any damage at all. Ow. Ooh. It definitely seems to be faster casting once it gets going, so it has like a warm up period and then you can like spam it. Ice wands, nah. Alright, got a little pitchfork again. Definitely more of a melee guy. Is that blocked? Okay, that's blocked. It's the first time we're seeing something that actively blocks. Okay, this is all blocked. Alright, so we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do this little encounter. Two damage is so much nicer having been used to all the one damage stuff. Oh, look 
at that. Okay, that's got a wider range as well. Okay. Pick you up. Oh yeah, old shirt and hard hat. That, that, that is a strong, strong look. I think it's the first time we've had all of our equipment slots filled, so that's nice. But that said, I don't think we've managed to find the exit or the lever yet. It's nine gold. Treasure chest. Okay, just a normal room. Yeah, you're not going to wait for me. Even with your hat. Okay, rusty bay. Now we need one of each. Range this guy. Ooh, wooden spear. Whoa, okay. Okay, that's got big range. Bit of a pullback on it though. God, yeah, the depth of, the, of these weapons is actually quite impressive. Like the timings they've got, the rate, the reach they've got, whether or not it's like a sweep. Oh, okay, first skeleton, they move quite fast. Fancy hat, I like that hat, it's got a feather in it. Oh man, still not as good as my hard hat. Badly damaged old shirt, but I'm not surprised shirts, old shirts are going to last too long. Uh, we can jump down. Okay, so we need to find the exit. That's the furthest we would have got then. 2-2. Two, two. Got just over a minute. Okay, a shop. Don't know whether that's helpful or not. We've got the witch over there. Okay, froggy man. Witch's robe. Oh, I haven't got time for this froggy man. Okay, yeah, I haven't got time for this. Which is potions, I haven't got time for you either. Hulk's Rage, that's probably not copyright. I mean, Hulk is a, is a word. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, where, where are we? We've been up there, been down there. That was like a loop around to the shops, so we haven't been down here. Okay, so the way out has to be here. I hope I say that with way more confidence than I'm feeling. Hey! we go, 2-2. Two, two. All right, so following the same system, we've got four levels on this one, so clear this one and we're halfway through. Ho hopefully, if we do get to the end of this, we're gonna get a slightly better, a slightly better reward than a tennis racket, which is <laughs> what we got last time. Interesting as well, just, we haven't seen, whoa, what? Am I on fire? Yeah, maybe. What is it to stepping in the slime? Do we have like environmental hazards? Okay, let's try that again. No? Okay, fine. Slime's fine. Ooh, better weapons. Okay. Wooden hammer, one knockdown maybe? Wooden sword. I gotta say, actually, I like the kind of swords stuff. I'm gonna take that. And oh, we don't have enough for an apple. Damn, should have thought that through. Okay, come back. We're gonna get an apple. So let's see what this can do. This is probably gonna be quite good against slimes. Good, nice. Ah, oh, got another ice wizard. Yeah, bastards. Bastards. Alright, okay, locked door. So that's going to be a boss encounter in there. But the three, we can afford to have an apple, which I think we're going to have to do. And we got the sword back. Sweet. Okay, so we can swap in and out quite easily. Good. Two minutes still. But again, we haven't found either of the things. Oh, there we go. It seems to be every time we say we haven't found anything yet, we managed to find one of them. All right, pick up the gold. I'm right, gonna find our way out. Chest up there, cool. Oh, these goblins are the ones, and they hold them in like the worst possible place. <laughs> there we go. All right, chest. Guy with a hat. Do we have time? Yeah. All right. Let's go for it. Okay, yeah, I'll take that because my wooden sword's almost broken. Cool. All right. Now let's get out of here. Gold. 
Uh, we're back to here again. Okay, it must be on the other side of here. Approaching it from the wrong angle. Ah, oh, damn. All right, okay. This is going to be a long way around. I'm going to go up a minute. Oh, and those boss battles don't stop the timer. It's one of the big boss battles. Well, then maybe that is a set boss battle with a bigger thing. Uh, because we had it on the second level. The last one we had that bat guy. We get in here. Is this the way in? To, yes, okay. This is the way into this room. Okay, we don't have to. Okay, we do have to stand on that. Fine. Come on then, give me your worst. I do like that feather hat. Come on. Rusty bow. Open that as courtesy, what we got. Pot lid. No, you were rubbish. Did not like the pot lid. Might be actually quite useful in the carp. Boss. Okay, the boss pauses it and it opens that thing. Hobgoblins. These are hobgoblins. Cool. Good to know. Wait, wait. Oh, what? Wait. Oh, straight off bat like that. Jeez. Jeez. Wow. Okay. Let's see if I can reopen this one. Can I open this every time? Yeah. And do I get the same thing every time? Tennis racket. Okay. Cool. All right, everyone. Well, I think that's probably a decent little intro into the game and um, well for a first stream as well not bad nip it on the head at about an hour um, so yeah what do I think about this first impressions first hour I think I could definitely see how this would be a lot of fun as a co-op game um, I think like the music and the graphics um, sort of the visual design rather than graphics <laughs> I don't like to speak about but the, the visual design is really really good um as I say, there seems to be quite a lot of depth in the gameplay when it comes to things like, you know, the different types of weapons, loadouts you can choose. You've obviously got melee, ranged, and magic stuff as well, different types of equipable stuff. So yeah, I think I think it seems really deep. And I've only scratched the surface. So it says like reach there are four chests. And I opened one for reaching the first level. So I guess there are four levels, sixteen levels overall to deal with. Actually, I think it said something about that in the game description. Let me have a look. Uh, yeah, 16 floors. So there are four, four floors of four. Um, and you have to do all in one clean run through. I don't know whether or not the difficulty would scale with more players or not. I feel like if it was for four players and the difficulty didn't scale, that would probably be really easy. Um, unless you have like a shared health pool or something. So maybe I'll check that out. I'll get a friend on and give that a go. But yeah, for four quid, um, not a bad little game. I'm going to play it a little bit more off the stream, get a little bit more experience with it and see how I feel about it. I feel like the controls are probably like the biggest thing that I'm I'm not sure about with like no mouse interaction, three buttons only. I mean you move you move with the arrow keys, you don't move with W A S and D, it's just the, the arrow keys. You've got your Z to pick up X for action and then C for swap or hold C to drop. That's it. I mean I know that's all you need. But at the same time, like that's not an intuitive little three button combo for using. But yeah, okay, cool. Well, I hope you all like the first uh, first video. I'll probably revisit the game uh, in a day or two's time once I've had a little bit more experience with it. And yeah, thanks all for watching. Um, putting this up on YouTube, so check it out there. And I will catch you all next time. Thank you very much. Bye.